Hello everyone, it's me Ilian from DM Trading Bulgaria and after our masterclass presentation, the last one yesterday, today it's time for me to make a quick recap on the trading plan I shared with you uh, last week to see its development and of course to show you some uh, possible opportunities that uh, you might have taken. Uh, I did uh, share one live signal on it, which we will also discuss. Unfortunately, it was uh, not a winning one, but still we have to learn from our losing trades. Now, without further ado, I suppose you are already uh, preparing yourself for Christmas. Maybe some of you are not uh, watching the markets. Uh, here I just want to say that our Christmas giveaway has started and now you can subscribe uh, to receive our newsletter, both of our newsletters, plus live signals. Uh, for the whole month of January, so don't miss that opportunity. You can find the link, uh, the subscription link on our Facebook page. Now, uh, this is the plan itself posted on TradingView uh, on December 11th. It is based on the USD Canadian dollar currency pair and uh, it is the 60 minutes time frame. You can see I coded how to trade an M formation. Uh, usually, M formations. Uh, tend to appear at the end of an uptrend and in this case we had an uptrend here and sort of a uh, range uh, after that and usually the information uh, tells us that a possible reversal might happen especially if that uh, formation happens just below a resistance in this case this is an H4 resistance uh, so I was looking for the range to continue or to here to see an M formation and the price to drop down back to that H4 support area which would be our target one and just a bit below it is our target two. Let's see what happened. Okay, so at first uh, it started good. You can see uh, how the price behaved. It made uh, here the M. Uh, basically and started dropping, broke the bottom of this range but unfortunately it failed to reach all the way down to the H4 support area. After that uh, we saw uh, sort of a slow but continuous uptrend and currently you can see where the price is standing. Now let me turn on to the live chart uh, so we can see it better uh, and show you some possibilities. Uh, you can see where the plan uh, itself was posted so actually the first possibility was to take a trade here on the H1 after the break of the uh, this range and you can see that uh, the price kind of formed a consolidation just below this broken level and then moved further down and after which we just entered into this uh, uptrend uh, and the price actually here went outside of the H4 resistance, uh, actually above it and currently is retracing back below it. Now uh, I share the live sign of here uh, and it was if I'm not mistaken on this candle or somewhere like in between. Uh, why I decided to enter there because uh, as I said we had this consolidation here and a break of this consolidation uh, was a confirmation for me that the price will continue down. I was expecting for uh, the pair to reach this H4 support area but unfortunately it uh, slowly retraced back up and hit uh, my stop loss which was placed somewhere here. Uh, mistake I did here was that I didn't close the trade. Uh, you can see how uh, the price behaved. Let me just uh, change the color real quick. You can see how the price behaved here forming sort of a W or at least it formed uh, higher lows and a higher uh, highs which means that we are already in an uptrend so I uh, had to close at least part of the position if not the whole over here I missed to share that and the stop loss was hit but maybe you managed uh, your trade better. Uh, now since the plan itself is made on the H1 time frame I'll turn on the M5 
uh, to show you maybe some a few other possible entry spots I haven't checked the M5 to be honest so I don't know what I will find here or if I will even find uh, any spots uh, let me turn the Bollinger Bands okay so first thing what I see is this uh, sort of a square up here which was broken this was going to be a nice entry uh, in my opinion uh, because the price was over here at the top of the range just uh, below the uh, H4 resistance area and it formed uh, you can see the M so this was a nice spot to enter uh, then we had a few more opportunities you could have entered again here uh, this on this square uh, but here it would be a bit more uh, riskier as you're getting close to the bottom of the range and if you're not sure uh, that the break will occur I would uh, pass on that trade of course after the break here obviously uh, this entry which we took on the H1 as well and actually here uh, on the M5 you can manage it better uh, your positions because you can see how the price went down made an uptrend wave uh, another downtrend wave forming a higher uh, low and then it started going up again so you should have closed uh, at least the bigger bigger part of your trades over here that is it regarding this plan and the possibilities it gave us although it didn't reach all the way down to our uh, target zone uh, we could have extracted some nice profits uh, from this one uh, from now on until uh, next year actually I won't be sharing any trading plans or uh, reviews since uh, as you know it's Christmas uh, the markets won't work or uh, they will be quite stagnant and uh, we're taking a bit of a vacation at the end of the year but uh, next year we are going to come after the market with uh, full power I'm going to create a uh, bot for the uh, live signups which we share on the uh, free Twitter uh, channel so it would be easier to share the signups and to share closing signups and I'll try to share a lot more signups on uh, the plans I give you again subscribe for our um, newsletter for January it's completely free and you don't have to give any card details or anything just your name in your email where you will receive uh, this so-called newsletter and uh, you are not uh, we are not making you in any way to uh, subscribe for the newsletter after that only if you like it and if you enjoy it and of course if it makes you some nice profits thank you very much for your attention and me and our team wishes you happy holidays uh, merry christmas and happy new year